Supporters of a disqualified National Democratic Congress parliamentary aspirant in the Aswasi constituency of the Ashanti region have vowed to vote against any candidate who will represent the party in the 2020 parliamentary election. Now, Masawudu Mubarak, who was seeking to contest against the incumbent MP Mutaka Mubarak, was disqualified by the party after several disagreements. Now, his aggrieved supporters who besiege his residence say the party's leadership erred in the disqualification and will suffer the consequences if they don't rescind the decision. City News' Hafiz Tijani has more. The disagreement among NDC members in the Aswansi constituency has existed since nominations were opened for the party's parliamentary primaries. While some insisted that incumbent MP Mutaka Mubarak must be allowed to go unopposed, others say he should be contested. Some angry party members, largely consisting of supporters of Masoud Mubarak, petitioned the party's hierarchy to look into the matter. Elections were put on hold in the constituency while other constituencies went through the process. A decision by the party's functional executive committee to disqualify the incumbent MP's only contender, Masoud Mubarak, has angered some party supporters. What is happening here is very annoying and I think Wupu are not being respected. The fact that the party has opened nomination for the candidate to pick his form and contest, meaning everybody who is eligible to contest for the seat have to pick a form. Here is the case that Muntaka and his regional executives are not being fair to we at the branch level. I think they don't respect us at all. If a whole an individual can decide for us, then Aswasi is dead virtually. They are very, very disappointed in the sense that the decision taken from the national is very disappointed and disgraceful. Why am I saying this? Just last week, we went to Accra to serve them another petition that we did. 85 chairmen endorsed that they need contest in Aswasi. You collected this. We went to serve almost everybody, all the national executives. Only for them to bring us, the, uh, what do you call it, a disqualification letter yesterday that they've disqualified our candidate without even coming down to, to investigate what they've heard or the petition we served and whether it is real or not, it is true or not. The delegates are very angry because they are really taking us for granted for far too long, for the past 16 years. And the most disappointing thing is, we are the delegates are very very disappointed at the general, general secretary. These are not mere people of Aswansi. These are delegates. These are party officers who are aggrieved by the decision that was brought yesterday by the functional executives signed by uh, Mr. Asidu Nketia. Um, clearly, clearly, this goes against the will of the people. This goes against the democracy that we are practicing. The residence of the aspirants was filled with some party supporters who were there to support him despite his disqualification. They have threatened to vote against the NDC if the decision is not rescinded. The NDC executive at the regional level took us as took Asawasi as animal kingdom. So they can be somewhere and decide for us. But as for now, we are telling them, we, the concerned youth of Asawasi, NDC, are going to vote skirt and blouse. It's true. It's true. It's true. We are going to vote skirt and blouse. Because Muntaka are driving us crazily yes. since 2008. But as for now, we have realized that they have not take the NDC youth in Atawasi at granted. So if he can't help us to go forward, we decide to help him to come down. It's true. So we are going to vote scared and balanced. 
And frankly speaking, we are all going. If they don't resent on their decision of disqualifying our candidate, there is going to be a scared and blasting as well. I'm telling you, coming to 2020. And that affect the party? Yes. If it affect the party, they brought it. As what I said in Katia. They brought that. So if, if, if from 2016, we had a lot of coincidence. Uh, Medina is one. This was the same thing. They imposed candidates on the delegates and the, the consensus. New Adbiasi. They keep on imposing the candidates on us, which is very bad. Let us contest. Let them go for the nomination. If the person wins, he won. If he loses, he knows that he has lost the game. Politics is a game. So I'm very disappointed. If they say they will not allow this to happen, then we too will advise ourselves. Either we go for skirt and blouse, or we will just relax, no votes. Because if they refuse for myself to go for the competition, no Mutaka, no Asawasi, no John, no Asawasi, we will vote against them. Either we sleep in the house, or we go out and vote against them. Which will be very bad. So therefore, they should advise themselves and step down from what they are saying and do the right thing. For Masaud Mubarak declined comment on the matter for now when City News contacted him. Meanwhile, some of the aggrieved supporters went to the party's regional office and bent car ties to register their displeasure. Now, some NDC delegates within the Aswasi constituency are trooping in to the residents of the uh, disqualified aspirants in the constituency. They are so angry and they are not so happy about the decision of the functional executive committee of the party to disqualify the candidate or the aspirant to allow the incumbent to go unopposed. Reporting from Aswasi, I am Hafiz Tijani for City News.